today is the most auspicious appearance day of Srila Prabhupada. Uh, let us try to understand what is Prabhupada's position. This particular words, uh, two words are used, Acharya and Guru. Now both these words in the Vedic literature are used in many different context in different uh, with different meanings so in order to specifically understand what is the sense in which we have to accept Prabhupada as Acharya and Guru uh, this verse is a very instructive verse in this verse it is said Acharyam Maam Vijaniyan a particular category of Acharya Acharya in general means a teacher but here it is used in the sense of the spiritual master. The spiritual master who is actually in a very special position as uh, non different from Krishna. Acharya Maam Vijaniyan. One should know the Acharya as myself. Krishna is speaking this in the Bhagavatam. So, one should know the Acharya to be as good as Krishna. So, in what sense that one should take the, accept the Acharya as good as Krishna? In the sense that Krishna essentially has created this whole material world for delivering the conditioned souls. Throughout the Bhagavad Gita, Krishna explains this. That he comes to this world, he incarnates, he instructs, he performs his activities only for the sake of delivering the conditioned souls. For helping them get out of this material existence to go back to his kingdom. The Acharya comes for the same purpose. In that sense, he is non-different from Krishna. Because he is coming for the same purpose as Krishna, to deliver the conditioned souls. And because of this position of the Acharya, who is the spiritual master for deliverance from material existence, na avamanyeta karhichet, one should never disrespect him in any way. One has to be very, very careful to not uh, disrespect him, to not offend him, to not consider him an ordinary man. Namartya buddhye. Namartya buddhya asuyeta. One should not uh, have the idea that he is an ordinary man. Martya buddhya. He is not an ordinary man. That means he is not a conditioned soul. Uh, he is not simply subject to the laws of nature by which everyone has to die one day and take birth again. Martya buddhya, na martya buddhya, asuyeta, one should never be envious of him. Why this word envy is mentioned is because in his position as Acharya, the spiritual master who delivers, he is respected as good as God, he is worshipped like God, he is given all the respect that is due to God, so, when he is offered so much respect, nobody is respected more than the Supreme Lord. He is offered the topmost respect, topmost worship. So, if the Guru is to be worshipped like that, then the question may be raised, is he to be respected more than the demigods, powerful demigods, who are having so much of responsibility, power, knowledge, uh, opulences, uh, he is respected more than the devatas? Yes. Krishna says, Sarva Deva Mayo Guru. He is the representative of all the demigods. In another place, Prabhupada translates this as Sarva Deva Maya as 
he is the sum total of all the demigods which is the position of krishna krishna is the supreme lord above all the demigods he is greater than all the demigods the greatest greater than all the demigods so guru's position who is the acharya who is the spiritual master who delivers is equal to that of krishna in terms of his function as the deliverer why because none of the demigods can deliver anybody from this material existence even though they are powerful in so many ways even though they have so many opulences even though they have so many powers so much of uh, uh, respect is given to them by different uh, grades of living beings they are also to be worshiped they are also to be respected uh, uh, but still uh, krishna's position is above all the devatas and in this particular respect of delivering the conditioned souls the guru is also to be respected on an equal level with krishna and therefore specially in gaudiya vaishnava sampradaya the guru is worshiped uh, on an equal level with god and especially on the birthday the appearance day of the guru we celebrate what is called as vyasa puja why vyasa puja because vyasa is the incarnation of the supreme lord who has given us the uh, vedic literature hari krishna subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss any updates